Hey everyone, it's your boy Kyle. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're continuing on with the Loki series and I'm going to react to episode 3. I'm really, really excited. I'm liking how this series is very confusing. Kind of like Loki himself, as I know him from watching the all the Marvel movies so far. He is a very confusing character. He's very deceptive. He has a lot of illusionary magic. He... And so I like how the series is very fitting to his character, and I'm just really enjoying it. And I like how each of the Marvel TV series that I've watched so far, WandaVision and Falcon the Winter Soldier, and also with Loki, they are very different from each other. WandaVision and Loki are very similar in a sense, compared to Falcon the Winter Soldier. And I'm just really happy with it so far. I can't believe we are halfway through the Loki series. It's super short, kind of like Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but that is okay with me. I mean, I could obviously watch more of Loki, but hey, Marvel only gave us six episodes to watch, unfortunately. Just before we get started with this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell button. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter to be on my latest posts. And I also stream on Twitch part-time, and I would love to have you there if you are interested in video games. Also, if you're interested in watching me an uncut version or getting early access to my content, you can pop over to my Patreon. The link to my Patreon and all my socials linked in the comment section down below. On my Patreon, you'll have access to my reactions to Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts, all of MCU 1, 2, and 3, WandaVision, Falcon Moon Soldier, and all of Loki. So um, jump on there if you are interested. And shout out to all my top tiered patrons. Thank you so much for your support. I sincerely appreciate it. And without our further ado, let's get to it. Potato skins or buffalo fingers. Oh, we could eat somewhere else. Buffalo oh, fingers. Why do you hate this place? I don't hate it. How many times oh, the department is closed? This is the lady. So it almost seems like it mm. could be her past that we're watching. Ah, oh, brain freeze. You know what brain freeze is, don't you? <sighs> Here we go. So it permeates the roof of your mouth and freezes the synapses in your brain, so your memories are literally frozen in place. Whoa. <laughs> okay, try it. Whatever you're thinking about will get frozen in place. I'm gonna ask you a question, and you won't be able to tell me the answer until your synapses have melted. Challenge huh. accepted. I kind of feel like that I'm could be true, because if I have a brain freeze, I, it's like, it's painful, as I don't, Sorry, I'm not what? like, remembering anything, or like, thinking about anything else. Af until after the brain fuse is done. Hey, won't you tell me how many people are guarding the timekeepers? Oh, there's... Oh, shit. So she's trying to get to the timekeepers, too. I don't know you. It's okay. You're just tired. Oh, she's trying to manipulate her. Yeah. Oh, it's a memory that she's accessing, too. How do I find the elevators? They're gold. But will her magic work inside the timekeeper's place? Because Loki's magic didn't work. Or that might be because Loki's magic didn't work because he didn't have his his armor on. I don't know. All oh, minute men. Oh shit, she's in there already. Wouldn't she be a little bit more conspicuous? But nah. Oh, her magic didn't work! Shit! Those are insanely powerful weapons. I would. Oh! Huh. Oh, he got his blade bag! His little daggers! Uh. A few questions. Have you really got nothing else better to do? Rude. Oh, he's gonna fight her. I thought they'd be on the same team. Are you sure you're a Loki? You're in my way. You are my way. I thought perhaps we could work together. So they're both Lokis? But now what? I see you lack vision. Oh. oh, you weren't. 
Either way, that's how I get to meet oh, the timekeepers. Hey! Oh shit! Come any closer and I'll kill it. Go for it. Yeah, she doesn't care. <laughs> oh! They should be on the same side. <gasps> Goodbye, variant. It's not working. You're out of juice. Oh! His magic fruit! Interesting. Right. Just give it back to me. You don't even know how to recharge it. Of course I do. Not the only tech savvy Loki. Don't ever <laughs> call me that. Tech savvy? No, a Loki. Oh. <laughs> so you're just fully a magician then? Fine. For my next trick, I'll make you disappear. Ooh. Is that one of your powers? Where did you send us? Lamentus one. It's a planet, I guess? 2077. Oh, it's a green moon thing? Oh! I thought you want to be dead. I don't know where you hit that tempad, but if you blow up, it blows up, and then I end up blown up. We're a team now. Oh god no! <laughs> oh god no! Oh shit! You're so weird. What are you doing? <laughs> you're trying to enchant me. It won't work. Why? Because you're a magician. No, because my mind is too strong. Fine. <laughs> what do you propose instead? I don't know. A truce. Yeah, work as a team like he Listen, said. Neither of us is getting off this rock if we can't get that temp pad turned back Where on. do you have it hidden? In my heart. Well, then I'll cut it out. Nice. Very droll. Love it. <laughs> well, you're full of it because you need me to get that thing recharged. That's the only reason you saved me out there. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, sure. That too. Or we could just slaughter each other here in this abandoned mining shack. What do you say? Good for me. I'm not sure what, what her the role is here. The you interrupted was years in the making. I'm going straight back to the TVA to finish what I started. Good. I'll kill you then. Or I'll kill you. <laughs> Lamentus is really interesting planet. I mean, it's like not a good place to be, but it's interesting to look at. <laughs> so what's the plan? There's a town near here. And can you shut up? Just because I have to work with you doesn't mean I want to hear your voice. All right, well, mm, slow okay. down. Variant. Variant. Calling some faded photocopy of me, Loki. Good, because that's not who I am anymore. I'm Sylvie now. Sylvie. Oh, you changed your name. Brilliant. It's called an alias. It's not very Loki-like. Yeah. What exactly makes a Loki a Loki? So she is a Loki. Authority. Style. So naturally, <laughs> you went to work for the boring, oppressive time police. I don't work for them. I'm a consultant. Create the ultimate power vacuum and then just walk away. This is an interesting town. Kind of sketchy, though. Like everyone already fled. How long do we have? 12 hours or so, things down here are only going to get worse. More meteors, hmm. gravity quakes, and of course the collapse of society in the face of annihilation. I feel like, Loki, I feel like Loki's going to outsmart sure Sylvie. Right. Somehow. Because okay. they can't trust each other, but Loki's always up to something. The Tempad requires a massive power source, not a nightlight. Hmm. What the hell? It's remarkable that you ever made it as far as you did. Sorry about that. Joffy, I enjoyed it. Oh, <laughs> okay. I did too. But I can assure you, <laughs> no harm. We are simply weary travelers. Sure you are. Hello, dear. Loki. Ah. <sighs> it's been a long time. He cloaked himself as like a her husband. <gasps> oh! How did she know? Oh, okay. What do you devils want with me? We just want to ask you a question. Where is everyone? The Ark. Like that would have enough juice to repower the tempad. How do we get there? 
And just saying that they're all, all their no, clothes are purple. Right. Who said anything about fighting? Is that a significance to anything? Not this one. We're doing this one my way. Okay. Oh. Oh look. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great plan. Love an outfit there, Loki. Just follow my lead. Oh, good idea, Loki. <gasps> oh no. Taking this one to Sheru. Okay. And the tickets? Orders come from the top to get her on this train. <laughs> Sir, this. I just remembered that headquarters radioed in the request for them this morning. Okay. I guess you can get on the train. Okay. FYI, that wasn't even a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Loki doesn't really run on plans, he improvises. I can't sleep in a place like this. No, I can't sleep around untrustworthy people. I'm not going to waste my time rooting around for the tempad when someone taught you fairly decent magic. My mother. What was she like? His mom was great. She was... Um, a witch. A queen of Asgard. She was good. Purely decent. Are you sure she was your mother? Uh, no, she's <laughs> not, actually. I was adopted. Is that a bit of a spoiler for you? Sorry about that. No, I knew I was adopted. What? Yeah. Did they not tell you? No. I mean, I mean, they did eventually. Hang on a second. Mm. So, tell, tell me about your mother. I barely remember her. Just blips of a dream at this point. Interesting. So she was also adopted. So we're gonna, young, are all Loki's variants adopted? For me. Turn a flower into a frog or cast fireworks over the water. But she told me that one day I'd be able to do it too, because because I could do anything. Oh, not bad. <laughs> not too shabby. So, where do you learn to do the, you know, the the Loki? I taught myself. You, you taught yourself that magic. Yeah, I did. Really, it'd be easier if I just sh enchanted me and make her give you the temp out so you can leap out of moving train. Yeah, nice try. Then don't ask. Okay. Oh, I'll take us. <laughs> Thank you. And pity the old woman chose to die, don't you think? She was in love. Mm, she hated him. Maybe love is hate. Hmm. For some, maybe. What was that? Love is hate. Oh, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> so, on the subject of love. Is there a lucky bow waiting for you at the end of this crusade? Yeah, there is actually. Oh. I managed to maintain quite a serious long distance relationship with a postman whilst running across time from one <laughs> apocalypse to another. Hmm. And with charm like that, who could resist you? Well, I'm huh? quite willing in the face of certain doom. <laughs> I'm sure we are. How about you? You're a prince. Must have been would be princesses. Or perhaps another prince. Mm. Bit of both. I suspect the same as you. But nothing ever. Yeah, we never saw Loki with love anyone. And the war movies. No. Love is. Complicated. Uh, something I might have to have another drink to think about. You do realize we're about to try and hijack the power source to a civilization's only hope. All right. You relax your way, mm -hmm. and I'll relax mine. You're seeing like a vulnerable side of Loki in this episode with the love stuff. So I also I feel like love is complicated for him and you know can be strange in some aspects. But I feel like the love it was hard for him. And I know his mom loved him and his brother, but maybe he didn't feel that from them. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh she looks sad or pissed or teary-eyed born to be teary-eyed ah oh what hap yeah that happens at Asgard <laughs> you're drunk I need you to try this 
It pairs very nicely with the figgy port. I think something's happening. Yes. Uh, that planet is about to crash into us. Don't be an arse. I saw some people looking at you weirdly. What? Why did you get so paranoid? Oh, I guess it must have started when I spent my entire life running from the omniscient fascists you work for. I don't think Loki's working for the TVA. He has no choice. <laughs> Love is a dagger to be wielded far away or up close. You can see yourself in it. It's beautiful. Hmm. Until it makes you bleed. But ultimately, when you reach for it. It isn't real. Can I see your tickets? I thought yeah. that. Hello. Um, tickets. Yes, of course. Will Here he conjure up some fake tickets? Oh, look, is this really necessary? There is a simple explanation. Hey. Huh? Hey. <laughs> oh. And there's that happened with Loki. Awful throw. Oh, will you stop it? Why? You're close. Give me the ten pounds. Right, right. You asshole. You killed us! Maybe we can fix it. Nope. I'm a god. You're a clown. New, I assure you. But never at the expense of the mission. Oh, the mission? Damn. The mission? Your glorious purpose. Give me a break. You can't beat them. <laughs> yeah, the thing that Sylvie was going to trust Loki in helping her, or trying to help, or whatever, is like sneaking. Loki has no idea what he's doing half the time. He just makes up as he goes. But they need to seriously work together. And not have this weird animosity between each other. And, um... Because Loki's not going to fully trust her. Because she's trying to kill him for the tempad. And then all this stuff. And so they need to like be on a team here. Did the, uh... Scream make you feel better? Yes. It did. You should try it sometime. The art never leaves because it's destroyed. Never had us on it. So what, we hijack the Ark and make sure it gets off this moon? Yeah, pretty much as he's saying. <laughs> okay. You know, I don't think I've ever walked this much in my life. You know, hmm. I feel like I've told you so much about me. I really don't know the first thing about you. Thanks for the tactical advantage. I just need to know if I can trust you. You want to know how enchantment works? Hmm. I have to make physical contact and then grab hold of their mind. Others, the stronger ones, like Loki's. Gets tricky. I'm in control, but they're there too. In order to preserve the connection, I have to create a fantasy from their memories. Oh, which we saw before and you with the other magician. TVA that she was infiltrating her mind. That young with soldier from the TVA. Her mind was messed up, everything clouded. I had to pull a memory from hundreds of years prior, before she even fought for them. What? What did you say? Before she joined the TVA? Yeah, she was just a regular person on Earth. A regular person? Huh. Loved margaritas. I was told that everyone who works at the TVA was created by the timekeepers. That's ridiculous. They're all variants, just like us. What? They don't know that. Interesting. So we don't know the full story about the TVA then, because we're hearing a couple different stories. Because this is going to suck. Oh no. What? <gasps> ah! Sylvie! Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. What? There goes the arc! 
Holy shit, how are they gonna get off this planet? I guess there was karma for, you know, letting let these people on the ship. The ship, the rocket got destroyed. Oh my goodness, guys, that was insane. So we got to learn a little more about the other Loki, the chick that was uh, in uh, the last episode. And I guess she calls herself Sylvie, but she's technically another Loki. So there's multiple Lokis then? Under, under my impression that, because she said that Sylvie's just her alias name, but she's still goes, but she's technically a Loki variant. So there's multiple Loki variants. So we've experienced only our Loki for, um, uh, like Loki Lavers Laversan? <laughs> um, yeah, I, forget, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Anywho, we experienced him um, in, um, in the in the Infinity Saga, but then now with this series, they're introducing other different Loki variants and just interesting. But they all, but she doesn't have the same powers, Loki powers as uh, our Loki. So that's really interesting. Um, it was for me. I don't know why, but I felt very frustrated that they couldn't like connect easier. Like it just like they couldn't trust each other, or it, it almost seemed like actually that Loki Loverson was trusting Sylvie um, to work together to get off uh, Lamentes, but Sylvie didn't trust Loki. And so that was kind of like frustrating. I just wanted them to kind of, you know, they had their banter and then get over it. But um, I thought maybe if she knew that um, Loki, that, I thought that, you know, in episode two, when she, when Sylvie saw Loki, I thought she'd be more relieved to work together. Because um, it maybe since they were, the TVA was in, um, you know, uh, tracking her down and Loki kind of figured out about the Nexus event and that's how they found this Loki version, uh, Sylvie, and but then because her uh, motive is to infiltrate the TVA and you know um, take over the timekeepers and that's the same plan that Loki wants because when Loki realized that like you know Infinity Stones don't work in this this place and the Tesseract. He's like, is this the greatest magic on, and the greatest magic in the universe or something like that? And and so he wants access to what the timekeepers are. But then there were the but there we got a hint about um, the TVA and what we thought the TVA was originally started or how these people got into the TVA isn't exactly the way it was. Um, because, uh, Loki, I think, was saying that the, the TVA, the people that were worked there, they were always part of the TVA, part of working for the Timekeepers, but then Sylvie said that the chick that she enchanted, she was a normal person on Earth, and then the Timekeepers took her to be part of the TVA. So we're gonna, so there's more of the story to the Time Variance Authority, individuals that work for the timekeepers and but I hopefully you know Sylvie and Loki can come together and like trust each other enough um, to work together to you know maybe take down the timekeepers it kind of seems like what their plan is is to get access to their their magic and their and kill the timekeepers because since there are two variants they're considered bad because it's not part of the sacred timeline, but if they maybe kill the timekeeper, then any variant um, in any of the timelines, they can exist. Um, and it almost seems like these variants are coexisting together and from different timelines, from my understanding. I don't know. Like, um, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm describing my Loki journey as a very confusing roller coaster. And ask more a lot of questions and I like how the, we don't have definite answers yet so it's like us we like us in the community on YouTube and on Patreon we can kind of theory craft everything and and figure out like what's really going on here and it's super exciting uh Lamentus is a really interesting planet I wasn't expecting it to look 
um, like that. I don't know. Um, and uh, I guess that's the title of the, the episode is Lamentes. So uh, very futuristic, but also very like sketchy and deserted and like lifeless because it's being destroyed. There's like basically a planet being, you know, a moon uh, being destroyed. And there's like basically chunks of the moon are being sent to their planet. But it almost seems like that planet's also going to blow up soon. And um, I want to know uh, if they're going to get the temp pad to work again. And because uh, once they have the temp pad working again, they can get access to TVA and then, you know, infiltrate and talk to the timekeepers and all this stuff that they want to do. Um, we didn't see Agent Mobius in this episode. And I want to know whether maybe, you know, like he has. Um, I kind of would feel bad for him because I, or especially in front of Ravona, because Ravona kind of trusted him to kind of, you know, look after Loki and keep an eye on him, and then now he's gone. That's not gonna look good for um, Mobius, and um, maybe he might get punished by the TVA for doing that. I have no idea, and I feel like the story is gonna is starting to really take off and it's gonna be really interesting. And yeah, this just kind of wraps up my initial thoughts of episode 3 of Loki. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate it. Stay positive. Love everyone. Hate no one. Peace out. Bye.